Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So dual booting Windows and Linux is quite a common practice. I do it myself on my Windows 10 device. I dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 10. Now, if you are dual booting, uh, just to let you know, if you weren't aware, that if you are dual booting um, Windows and Linux, that the Patch Tuesday updates that rolled out last week, Tuesday for Windows 11 and Windows 10, KB 5041585 for Windows 11, and KB 5041580 for Windows 10, which I posted on both of those, by the way, and I'll leave those videos linked down below and in the end screen, apparently are causing issues for um, Linux users who are dual booting with Windows. Where, when trying to boot into Linux, um, they are receiving an error message, something has gone seriously wrong. Now, this is according to a report um, by Ars Technica, which I'll leave linked down below. But apparently, um, the update was intended to close a two-year-old vulnerability in Grub, G-R-U-B. And this is that vulnerability. And Grub, in case you're unaware, is an open source bootloader used to start up many Linux devices. And the vulnerability apparently made it possible for hackers to bypass secure boot. And it seems that this, this secure boot in Windows causes more problems than it's actually trying to actually prevent. So interesting that another secure boot now issue has raised its head. Now, if you are dual booting Windows and Linux, um, Linux was no longer able to boot uh, when secure, secure boot was uh, enabled. And when users are trying to load Linux, according to this report, they are receiving the message, which is quite a long message, called verifying shim sbat data failed security policy violation. Something has gone seriously wrong. SBA self-check failed security policy violation. So that's quite an intense message. So that's what Linux users are receiving if they are affected by this issue when trying to um, boot into Linux when dual booting both Windows and Linux. Now, according to reports, um, distributions that are affected are including Debian, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, Zorin OS, and Puppy Linux, which have been affected. Now, I must be honest, I'm not experiencing this on my Windows 10 device with Linux Mint, but nonetheless, just keeping you guys in the loop. Now, in true Microsoft fashion, they haven't acknowledged the error yet publicly. So not an official known issue by Microsoft yet. But I think there has been quite a lot of pressure being put on Microsoft regarding this. So hopefully they will roll out a fix sooner than later. Now, if you have the technical know-how, um, the workaround currently um, is to delete the SPAT. And that would, would mean, though, that you would have to disable Secure Boot temporarily and then re-enable it after deleting the SBAT. So that's basically the workaround. And if I get any more um, information regarding this issue, um, I'll let you know. But just wanted to put it out there because I know some of you, including myself, are dual booting Windows with Linux. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.